Shalom, shalom. We give all praise to Yah, by Shemel, Shad, Devil, honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, by Shemel, Kakadash, and the Holy Spirit. We do these lessons for the edification of the house of Dawah Da, Salakia. For the building of the house of Dawah Da. Peace and blessings unto you. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get right into it. I'm going to go right to the scriptures. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. We're going to start at verse 6. It says, Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. We understand that Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6, 1 through 15, 1 through 14, Salakia, is the blessings that the Lord will give us if we keep the commandments, just like verse 1 says, right? If we observe and do all his commandments. However, verse 19 says what? Deuteronomy 28, 19, curse shall thou be when thy gum cometh in, and curse shall thou be when thy goest out. And we understand up until the day, uh, March 2019, that we are a cursed people because we did not follow the Lord's statute commandments. Our people don't know who they are, so they are cursed people when they go out and when they come in. So what does it mean? The Lord shall preserve thee. Or the, the Lord shall curse thee when thou comest in. When you look up that word comest in. When you come in. Bawa. Bawa. H935. And it means to go in. To enter. Right. To lead. To be introduced. Be put to obtain. To be put. And to attain to lead to go into what is what does it mean that you're going to be cursed going into and curse when you're coming out into this life when we leave a place and when we come into a place not good no good conditions However, <laughs> we have a savior from all of that. We have a man who died on a cross for our sins, for the nation of Israel elect sins, where he takes away the curse, where he takes away and protects and therefore gives the blessing. But we must do something. We must do something. Let's get to Exodus 12 and verse 21. Because we're still in the we still in the Pasak. So the lessons is 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 based around the Pasak and the meaning of going in and coming out. Exodus 12 and 21 says then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take your lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. And you should take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in blood, in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel in the two side posts with blood that is in the basin. And none of you should go out the door of his house until morning. None of you should go out till morning. Why? What was going on on the outside of the door? Why did he tell you to stay in and be protected? Hmm. That's the lesson for the day. Psalm 51. Why did he say stay put? Psalms 51. And verse 11. It says... Um, Psalms 51 and 7, it's a lot. Purge me with hyssop, just like he told you. Purge me, and I should be clean. Wash me, and I should be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. 
This was the purpose of the scent. This was the purpose of the hyssop and the blood that was on the doorpost. That he told you don't go, don't go out. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Don't go nowhere. Stay put. Hebrews. Nine. And verse 11. But Yahweh shall being come a high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of goats and blood of bulls and of goats and of ashes of a heifer sprinkled the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Yahweh Shai, the anointed, Hamashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to Yahweh, purge your conscience. Purge your conscience. Remember, purging with the hyssop, sprinkling of the door, told you to stay and stay in what? Stay inside to be protected. Stay inside what? This building, which is what? Yahweh Shai, who the world called Jesus. Stay indoors. Stay with him. Stay inside. This is how you become blessed. Like, Deut like Deuteronomy 28 6 said. It says, Blessed is those that come in and go, and blessed is those that whom thou goeth out. What? Of Yahweh Shai. He is the door. He is the way. He is the truth. This is how you get preserved. Stay inside. So the evil or the destroyer pass by you. Pass over you. This is how you receive and be preserved with salvation. Through Yahweh Shai. He is the blood that protects Verse 15 says, and for this cause, he is a mediator of the New, New Testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that was under the First Testament, the Israelites. This was his purpose for a New Testament for the Israelites that were under the first. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, eternal inheritance. Blessed. Stay in him. Then he will be in you. Proverbs. 21. 15. It said it is a joy to do just to the judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity of sins. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You step out. Step outside that door and not being covered. You're going to be dead. And amongst the dead, a zombie, like most of the people out here in this world, zombified, just walkers, not livers, not delivered, not under a cloak, under a cloak of death, but not of deliverance and pres preservation. Without Yahweh Shah, there is no preservation. Stay indoors. John 14. And verse 4. It says, And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto the Lord, unto him, Lord, we know not whither you goeth. How can we know the way? Hmm. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Stay indoors. Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the life. This is why we stayed indoors and the blood was on the doorpost outside the house to protect us inside the house. 
that blood today being Yahweh Shai. John 10 and verse 7 says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. That all that came, it's a lot, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. Remember that uncertain sound? I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Say indoors. And shall go in and out and find pastures. Stay indoors. What inside you have a shy? This is where you need to stay. This is the purpose. This is the purpose of the Passover, the understanding, the spiritualness. I am the door. I am the door. Ephesians 2 verse 11. Wherefore remember that being Salat remember therefore that being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, Gentiles meaning foreign to the nation of Israel, foreign to our ways, foreign to the law, foreign to the light, just foreign. You just didn't know. You 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 claim to be Afro-American. You claim to be a, a, a Mexican. You claim to be a, a Roman. You claim to be these things, but that's not who you were. But we were in times past Gentiles, foreigners. In the flesh, who are called the uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision. We were called unholy. We were called without the law because we didn't have the law by the ones who were supposed to be following the law. In the flesh made by hands, that at that time we were without Yahweh Shai, the anointed, being aliens from the commonwealth. We were aliens. From the commonwealth. The other nations wasn't alien to the commonwealth. Let's look it up. Commonwealth. Strong's G, 4174. Palitaya. Palitaya. Palitaya, we was foreign uh, of the commonwealth with citizenship and the rights of a citizen. Of what? Israel. The commonwealth of Israel. We was foreign to the citizenship. Foreign to the citizenship. We didn't know the laws. We didn't know the ways. We we fell off. We became foreign to our own heritage. Policia. We were strangers to the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers from the covenants of promise. The promise was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We were foreign to that. This is why we fell off. We was out the way. We was amongst the congregation of the dead. Without hope. Having no hope. And without power in the world. But now. In Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You who sometimes were far off. Are, my, are made nigh. By the blood of Yahweh Shai. Having. Salak. For he is our peace, right? He's the pastor, the going in and the going out, who have made both one and has broken down a middle wall partition between us, who? The circumcision and the uncircumcision, the foreign of Israel and the ones who knew they were Israel. He broken down a wall, made us all one again through the blood of Yahweh Shai, the peace, the pasture. The promise that was made to Abraham for his seed. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man. So making peace, we became one. We were back to understanding. Remember Hosea, you are not my people. Remember Hosea, we were foreign. We became Gentiles. Israelites became Gentiles and, 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 and dwelt among the other nations. 
and became foreign to our own heritage, our own customs, became one of them, the walking dead. And that may he and that he may reconcile both unto Yahweh in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you that were far off, became Gentiles, became foreigners, and to them that were not. He, he, the same message was Israel, one, Achad, all Israel. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father, back together, the mediator. This is who Yahweh was sent to. He was sent to the nation of Israel. You can't walk together with another nation. You become like them. You become a stranger to Israel, who you are. You forget your children will become uncircumcised, literally and spiritually. You can't live together if you both don't agree. How can you have a roommate if you don't agree together? You become the odd couple. You become a, a, a Felix and Oscar. You become just two different people living on the same roof, can't get along, never getting along. We cannot uh, 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 dwell with our enemies. They hate us. They don't want us to be together as one. They don't want us to be this way. We have too much power. We have too much wealth. You can't room with a stranger. You won't agree. This is why we became alien to each other. This is why the, 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 the Pharisees and Sadducees have had problems with the Israelite foreigners. Why are you dwelling with them? Why are you dealing with them? Why are you eating with them? This is what this is. This is that they saw Israel as 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 something beneath their own selves. But how can you boast in the law when you don't even keep the law yourselves? Because in the law it says what? Love thy neighbor as thyself. Under these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. First commandment, love the Lord, Yahweh, with all thy heart, soul, and mind. Remember? This is so you you breaking the law even though you believe you keeping the law by not being neighborly to your brother, to your fellow Israelite, even though he may be strange. You're one through Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to you. Hope you're in good spirits. It's your brother Shaman Moth. We say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and shalom on to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe for the edification of the house of Dawa Da. For the house of Dawa Da. Stay indoors. Till next time. Shalom.